And today we're going to look at something called the a block definition diagram. So the block definition diagram is one of the fundamental structural diagrams in uh, the system and relationship. So let's go create diagram there. I'm going to put a block on to the diagram. I simply drag that on and put it inside that diagram frame. We have talked about the diagram frame in previous videos, but I'm going to put it on there and uh, I'm going to call it the boom gate parking system. So this is kind of like a system of systems, if you like, Scott. This is inside the boom gate parking system. Now I want to put in uh, some subsystems. So one of the subsystems I want to put in is the access control subsystem. So this is about you know how people get into the uh, into the parking site. Let's put another block in. So we can simply grab a block from there, drop it into the model again. Uh, let's call it the uh, access control subsystem system. So what we want to do now is to create a relationship. We want to use the part association. This access control subsystem is part of this boom gate parking. I can use that element there. You can see that it has done, the tool has done some work. It's put it in as a part into yeah. the boom gate parking. So useful thing uh, to happen. The other kind of, the other thing I might want to do is to put a, another block on here and you know, the next thing that someone might want to do be talking about is the subsystem um, of payment subsystem. The block definition diagram has uh, is giving us a breakdown uh, structure, if you like, of this boom gate parking system, which again is part of another system, which is the larger urban uh, parking system. That, uh, that is the, uh, the block definition diagram, Scott, and I encourage people to remember that they can use all of the layout features 